here's a mistake that I won't say everybody makes it, but just about everybody. Um, in my ill-spent youth, I, I, I trained at a lot of different martial arts dojos. I certainly did uh, Gojiru and Shotokan and Weichiru and Shorinru and Shunji Kempo and Taekwondo and helping not leave, leaving anybody out. Um, lots of them. Wherever I was, I just went to the dojo there and worked out with those guys and learned what I could learn. And this is, this is the observation I had of, of all of them. All of them made this mistake. That they all fought a certain way. That is to say, in the Goju dojo, the attacker was Goju style and the defender was a Goju style. Right? And I went to Shotokan, the attacker did a Shotokan thing and the defender did a Shotokan thing. And a Weichiru, the attacker did a Weichiru thing and the defender did a Weichiru thing. Right? You see what's going on here. They're all assuming that the opposition conceives of the fight the same way they do. They assume that if I'm Shotokan, I might, might my opponent's going to be Shotokan, too. See, this is why all these systems are perfect in the dojo. And none of them is worth a whole hell of a lot on the street. Here's why. We used to like to say, never arm wrestle an octopus. What I mean by that is, Never, ever, ever fight your opponent's fight. You don't box a boxer. You don't wrestle a wrestler. You don't fight Shotokan against the guy who was an expert at Shotokan. Right? That's stupid. You have to do exactly the opposite of that. You have to make your opponent fight your fight. You determine how this is going to go. It's your conception of the fight that you're going to go with, not your opponent's. You're not going to let your opponent dictate Shen. You're going to control his conceptions, his perceptions, his behavior. You're not going to let him control yours. This is extremely important. I think it is, it appears to be almost, forgive the expression, human nature. <laughs> that you assume that everybody is like you. Well, everybody likes vanilla ice cream, you know? <laughs> you like jazz? Who doesn't? Yeah, everybody's like you, right? Now, if you're a, if you're a fighter, that's potentially disastrous. But you know, we're all fighters. This idea that everybody is basically just like me. We have to quit doing that. <laughs> because this is why good people get hammered by evil people. Because a good person not only would never do that to somebody, they can't even imagine that anybody would do that to somebody. These, the good people and people say, hey, you know, basically, everybody's basically good. I mean, everybody's got a little bit of good and a little bit bad, but, the, but there's some good in everybody. And the truth of it is, there are some people that are no fucking good. But if you're a good person, you don't believe that. And that's why you become a victim of that kind of person. It's, it's the big lie in action. You know, people fall for the big lie because most people would never tell. Most people wouldn't say, yes, all of our problem is because of the Jews. Nobody would say that. That's, that's nuts. Most people wouldn't say that. So because they wouldn't tell big lies, they don't assume anybody else would either. And so 
they, they think, wow, if he said that, it, it must be true. Nobody would say that if it wasn't true, right? You see how that works? There's a point here someplace, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, except that you can't make those kinds of assumptions. You can't have those kinds of biases. You really have to get past the assumption of what other people think, or what are they going to be like, or everybody's going to be just like me, or all that stuff, and, and be in the moment. See things don't see things for what you think they're going to be or for what the way you would like them to be or the way you want them to be. you got to see them the way they are and deal with that. Because all the other stuff, what you'd like or what you wish, or, that's all emotional baggage. You have to be in the moment, see it, and conduct yourself accordingly. Yeah. At least that's what the fortune cookie said.